expectation of beta hat. So where we left off, we had expectation of beta hat was equal to this. And remember that we set gamma equal to alpha minus beta x bar. All right, so if we want to continue with this expectation, let's go ahead and do that. So we have this plus this times xi minus x bar. So let's go ahead and distribute. So we have sum i equals 1 to n. So we have gamma times xi minus x bar. And actually, let's just go ahead and pull gamma out of that sum there, since that's just a constant. And then we have also the sum i equals 1 to n beta times xi minus x bar times xi minus x bar. So that's beta times xi minus x bar squared. All right, denominator, let's just keep that the same for now. All right, so if we're looking at this, we see here we have xi minus x bar squared. And again, let's just pull out that beta, pull that beta out of the sum so that it's really clear to see we have beta times something divided by that exact same thing. So that means that this piece is just going to be beta. All right, so that leaves. Gamma times the sum from i equals 1 to n, xi minus x bar divided by the sum from i equals 1 to n, xi minus x bar squared, plus beta times something divided by something, which is just beta. All right, so that's our expectation of beta so far. So now let's just focus on this numerator here. So we're adding up xi minus x bar. So if we think about it, the sum of xi minus x bar, that's the same thing as sum of the xi minus n times x bar, right? We're adding up x bar n times. But let's think about the definition of x bar. x bar is equal to the sum of the xi's divided by n. So in other words, the sum of the xi's is equal to n times x bar. So we have sum of the xi's minus n times x bar. This is just equal to 0. All right, so then going back up here using this information that sum of the xi's minus x bars is equal to 0, that means if this is equal to 0, this whole first term, just goes away, it's all equal to zero. So therefore, expectation of beta hat is just equal to beta. All right, so now we've shown that the expectation of beta hat is equal to beta. Next thing we're going to do is look at the variance of beta hat and see why it's normally distributed.